TJ Berger. I'm going to talk to you about hand-eye body position, where I would like to be going around the burl, whether you're going right or left, it should still be the same. I like to ride into a burl where my pocket is and be about an arm's length from that burl and really drive up there like you're riding a six, like come in, start out wide and come in tight. But where I, I like to do is sit down in the saddle in the turn. When I sit down, I push on my horn, push my pockets into the back of my seat, kind of push some little weight in your stirrups. And that is your brake pedal. And that's a natural, shows your horse how to like slow down and get ready for the turn before you ever pick up on the reins. And then when you leave the burrow, I like to have my hand on the horn and pull up on the reins. And that feel of pulling on the horn is your gas pedal to go in a straight line. Coming back to where I like to put a horse around a burrow, I like to make sure, hey, easy. I want to have that barrel be right behind the calf of my leg. If that barrel is right there behind the calf of my leg, the faster, the faster I go, there's no way they can hit that barrel. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> go this way. But if you can learn to push them up there around it. There's no way they can hit the barrel. A lot of times those people will sit too soon and they'll pick up and they're asking that horse to turn where their leg is on top of it. Well, then they're gonna go right over the top of it and there's nothing you can do. So if you can kind of have it set in your mind ahead of time that you're gonna ride the horse up and around that burl and ride, push his butt around the burl rather than his head. Uh, sometimes they'll, I see it a lot where they just bend the heads and the head's around the burl, but if your leg and that body's not around it, you'll go over the top of it. <laughs>